So if you're trying to scan something super reflective or transparent, you're gonna run into issues using photogrammetry or any kind of infrared or laser-based scanning method. And today we're talking about four different options how to overcome that problem. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to the Crosslink channel where we talk about 3D printing, 3D scanning and 3D design. So let's have a look at the four options how to scan highly reflective and transparent things successfully with photogrammetry or any kind of infrared or light based scanning method. And method number one is covering the surface of the object with spray paint. And this, for example, is a foundation spray for painting cars. This works pretty well on any kind of surface, but you have to live with the fact that once we have applied this paint on top of any kind of surface, it's basically impossible to remove it later. So this probably only works with parts that you don't have to return to someone that sent it to you for scanning, or that is basically something that you can throw away after you've scanned it. So for these precious things, this won't be an option in my opinion. Option number two is using chalk spray. Chalk spray is used on soccer fields, for example, to mark the lines and it is water washable. So that means after you have scanned the objects, you can wash your object and get the chalk spray off. Another problem with the chalk spray, however, is it is very dirty in terms of if you touch the part anytime, you're gonna have this powder on your hands everywhere and you'd better not touch it once you started scanning it because that's gonna leave marks on the surface of the part. So you will probably have to redo the scan all over again. So this is an option that definitely works, but it is something that is not the cleanest solution. Option number three is to use tape. So painter's tape, marking tape. This is something that is going to work on pretty much any kind of object. I've done it here with this little glass here. So I've masked it with the tape and that is definitely something that's gonna work for scanning. And look at the result here. It is definitely working. However, it is leaving some artifacts on the surface because especially on the rounded edges, this is not perfectly flat sitting on the surface. And it's also not very usable for things that have very tiny details on the surface. This is going to cover everything and it's going to mask off any kind of these details. So let's talk about option number four and that is something that you probably not heard before yet. It's called scanning spray. Scanning spray is something that I also didn't hear before. A German company reached out to me and it's called AE Sub scanning spray they sent it to me for free for testing and they claim that the scanning spray can be applied to any kind of surface it's going to remove any transparency or reflectiveness and then after four hours it's supposed to disappear into the air and not leave any traces on the surface so this sounds like magic to me and i want to see if this is really working so i'm going to start using the scanning spray on this candle holder and we're going to apply a layer of scanning spray on top of it so what you have to know is that you you probably have to do this in several rounds to figure out how much spray you actually need to apply to the surface to get the reflectiveness away or the transparency away. This is something that you really need to try out. I tried it in multiple iterations to figure out how much I had to use and in the end I started scanning the candle holder. I did a comparison scan without the spray that you can see here and you can see clearly the result shows that the reflective part is definitely not good quality it's not scannable. The upper part especially is really difficult because it's very thin and any kind of light shining on it from the sides is going to disturb the result. And this is the result with using the scanning spray and it looks so much cleaner. It's, it's almost perfect. So for the candle holder, I can say the result was very good. Definitely can be used for 3D printing or any kind of post-processing later. So second part that I tried it on was this glass and I've tried the same I scanned it without the spray and the result here shows that the scanning software is basically not able to detect it at all. It's basically invisible to the software because it's super transparent so it's not going to see the glass at all. And by using the scanning spray on the surface this gets us a really nice result. It is very clean except a few points where I probably didn't apply the right amount of spray. But what about the magic disappearing of the spray? Is this really working over? time. So I've left both parts sitting in their places for four hours and look at these time lapses. You can really see that the spray is disappearing like magic into the air over time 
and it's not leaving any traces on the part. So this is really working quite well. I also did try to rub off the spray from the surface and it's actually quite sticky. So it cannot be even washed off with water. So don't ask me how that is actually working. But after four hours, it's definitely disappearing and nothing is left of the spray. So I hope this video will help you to decide which method to use in the future for scanning these kind of things. If you're now interested how to get the AE sub scanning spray, please have a look at the links in the description down below where I've linked to the manufacturer and distribution information where you can get it internationally. And if you have other ideas how to overcome the highly reflective or transparent scanning challenges, please add it to the comment section and tell me what you are doing to overcome this problem. And I hope you like this video. If so, you're probably interested to watch two other videos that I've linked up here for you. And I'll see you in one of the next videos. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,